We have a new update for you in the world of Journey. It's been a sad state of affairs over the last several years within this group, one of rock's greatest bands, who instead of celebrating their iconic legacy in rock, they've been involved in a bitter legal feud between Neil Schoen and Jonathan Cain, with Schoen suing Cain late last year over an alleged credit card statement he says he hasn't been able to get access to. Now, things have deteriorated from there, with reports saying that there is security involved backstage, apparently some additional security was brought in. There has been a lot of shade being thrown in both directions through statements and social media postings, with vocalist Arnell Panetta even saying earlier this year they can fire him if they want seeming very fed up with the way things have been going down within the band. Now, there's actually a unique connection to this situation and the new development in Journey. Earlier this year, Arnell Panetta posted out of frustration on social media that they could fire him at any time because there had been rumblings about former keyboardist and founding member of Journey, Greg Raleigh, who is a music legend, two-time Hall of Famer, and he's also notably the front man of Carlos Santana's iconic band, so this is where things get pretty ironic. Greg Raleigh was a co-founding member of Journey. He left the band a few years after they got started, but he was still an important part of their legacy. And so with Journey going out on their anniversary tour earlier this year, there was a lot of talk about whether or not Greg Raleigh would get to be up on stage and tour with them. And Neil Schoen was very much vocally in support of this taking place. So with that in mind, Neil Schoen and his wife operate a joint Facebook account. And back around that time, there was a post that went out that said, two band members of the Journey current lineup are adamant no against Greg Raleigh to return. Now, there were people reaching out to Arnell Panetta about this, to which he, in frustration, responded saying, you people are unbelievable. Whoever's spreading rumor about me regarding the Greg Raleigh issue are maliciously ignorant. I'm not gonna stoop down to your level. And then a couple days later, he followed up with this, still seemingly aggravated, writing, I'm with the band to sing the legacy. If some of them are tired of me being with them, by all means, they can fire me anytime. Time. And don't lecture me about spiritual BS. Walk the talk. All I know is I've paid my dues. So stop reminding me where I came from because it's in my heart every day. You just don't pay attention. I'm not a slave. I'm a human being like anybody else. Wrong is wrong, right is right, simple. Now, Greg Raleigh is important to this update because he comes into play a little bit later with all this conversation about whether or not Greg Raleigh should have been on the anniversary tour. You'll see how that situation ends up in a moment. But there's been so much more happening. Back in 2020, Journey's original drummer, Steve Smith, and bassist Ross Valerie sued the band, alleging they were improperly terminated. That claim was later settled in court. Then in 2021, the following year, legendary former Journey vocalist, Steve Perry, fought a lawsuit against the band Band, alleging the trademarks were being improperly used, with Perry eventually dropping that lawsuit in 2023. And now, as it pertains to Greg Raleigh, it's important to point out just how much Neil Schoen advocated for Raleigh to be on tour with Journey. In late November of 2022, Neil Schoen shared this picture of him with Greg Raleigh with the following caption, two original founding members. I think my brother Greg Raleigh should join us for the 2023 tour. What do you think, friends? He'll spice it up and we'll have a great variety of songs to choose from. What would you like to hear for the 50th anniversary? Tour. But now, in a highly ironic turn of events, things have apparently soured with Raleigh and Schoen. This goes back to a February 2018 concert that was held to raise money for the victims of the California wildfires, with Greg Raleigh and Neil Schoen teaming up for that special performance. Then, back in May of this year, that concert, recorded on video and audio, was released in May called Journey Through Time. And now Greg Raleigh is saying that that was released without his permission. So Greg Raleigh and Neil Schoen had performed under that Journey Through Time through time banner focused on his earlier contributions to the group. And then yesterday there was apparently a journey through time performance scheduled in France that was abruptly canceled which is interesting because Greg Raleigh's legal team apparently fired off a letter to the organizers of this event. This report from Ultimate Classic Rock says, Raleigh became alarmed when the festival's initial advertising made it seem as if Journey would perform rather than the offshoot band. The concert was properly listed on the group's website and bands in town, but the promotional material had Journey in much larger font than Through Time. So imagine Greg Raleigh's surprise when Journey Through Time was scheduled to perform tonight and also took issue with the way 
way the show was marketed. And according to his attorney, they've been attempting to communicate with Neil Schoen about this and they haven't been getting anywhere. But needless to say, the show has officially been abruptly canceled. Apparently, Raleigh took issue with the way the show was being marketed with the word journey being placed in a much larger font and then a small font beneath it that said through time. It says the concert was properly listed on the group's website and bands in town, but the promotional material had journey in a much larger font than through time. Now, this is where it gets interesting. The letter says, on or before June 12th, 2023, Mr. Raleigh and his team had made it abundantly clear to Mr. Schoen, Ms. Schoen, and all involved in the process that he would not participate in an event due to a number of concerns, including the risk of deceiving fans, not fairly paying other working musicians, and an improperly released album sharing the same title, Journey Through Time. It adds in the letter, Mr. Raleigh remains concerned that Mr. Schoen is furthering the promotion of a live album and DVD Neil Schoen released via Frontiers Records without obtaining appropriate licensings or permissions of the performing artists and songwriters, music publishing owners. Apparently, Raleigh maintains control of his publishing, so he would have to sign off on these recordings being sold. It says, as the last of remaining songwriters and original band members to have not sold off their rights, Raleigh continues to own his catalog and attempts to protect those works, the legacy and brand of Journey, of his name and likeness, from being used to harm or divide others. The letter itself even references how bad things have gotten within Journey. It says, an already acrimonious and fractured relationship among Journey's remaining principles, and it says that Journey has a duty to their fans and legacy to unite and not further the band's division with acts of individual greed. The letter continued, Following reports that the festival had sold tickets as Journey and infringed on many of Mr. Raleigh's personality rights and journeys, Upon review of the cease and desist letter, the festival agreed to remove Mr. Raleigh from the marketing and apologize to him, but continued to sell tickets to unsuspecting fans as Journey. Ultimately, we understand that the festival, after paying Mr. Schoen at least $100,000, canceled the promoted event. Fans were asked via Instagram to hold the bag and support the festival by not seeking refunds and to still pay for all nights, even in the absence of a replacement headliner as marketed. They were instead redirected to a post to the link in bio, which does not indicate any any form of refund. For those of you who have followed this journey saga, you understand just how ironic it is for Neil Schoen to now be feuding with Greg Raleigh. Considering number one, Greg Raleigh is widely respected by his peers in the music industry. He is not known for feuding with anyone. And again, Neil Schoen was such a vocal advocate for Raleigh to be involved with these journey shows. And now Raleigh's going, look, there's stuff going on here that I don't wanna be involved with. I'm not so sure about the way the journey name is being presented. And they're saying in so many words, we're not gonna be a part of this band dispute. It was definitely a big thing when Neil Schoen was trying to bring Greg Raleigh into the fold. And now it seems that Greg Raleigh doesn't want any part of any of this. And look, you don't really hear much about Jonathan Cain feuding with anybody either at this point. Point. And don't forget to enter our giveaway. One lucky winner and three of their friends will party in style all weekend long in the VIP section of one of these amazing festivals of the winner's choice. All you gotta do is enter for a chance to win at the link in the description. And if you like this video, don't forget to hit that subscribe button with notifications on.